The Titanic is the world's most famous shipwreck. Everybody has heard of the grand ship that was claimed to be unsinkable that sank on her maiden voyage. Philip Franklin, who was the vice president of White Star Line, a former British shipping company that owned the Titanic, had this to say about the ship. Quote, we place absolute confidence in the Titanic. We believe that the, ship, that the boat is unsinkable. End quote. She was the largest movable object of her time, and there were a total of 2,240 people, passengers and crew, on board. It is known that the Titanic had struck an iceberg and sank in the North Atlantic. But the questions that a lot of people ask is how? What events led up to it? Could it have been prevented? And who was responsible? In this speech, I will talk about the construction of the Titanic, the events leading up to it, and how many lives were lost. The construction of the RMS Titanic began March 31, 1909 in Belfast, Ireland. The president of White Star Line was J.P. Morgan. The Titanic was constructed from many different materials, but wood and steel were the main two. The iconic grand staircase, the interior walls, furniture, floors, and doors were made of wood. The framework and the support in the hull of the ship were made from steel. The steel pallets of the hull overlapped one another and were put together with three million rivets. They used a hydraulic machine to hammer the rivets, but the machine can only be used in strength areas. So because of that, they had to do it manually at the bow, and instead of using steel rivets, they used iron because they were easier to use manually than steel. Wrought iron rivets were more malleable than steel ones, so that is why it was easier to use iron instead of steel for the curved bow of the ship. In the documentary Who Sank the Titanic, they said this, quote, This will potentially weaken a small part of the bow section, but it was a widespread practice and nothing unusual has ever come of it. End quote. They also used number three iron rivets instead of the standard number four at that time. The watertight bulkheads were lowered to about 10 feet above the waterline. They, they claimed that if four bulkheads were filled with water, that the Titanic will still stay afloat. But that didn't happen. There were many things that led up to the wreck of the, of the Titanic. One of those things were the lookouts in the crow's nest did not have any binoculars. And if they had binoculars, they would have seen the iceberg a lot sooner and would have avoided it. And the ship would have been, would have continued on its path to America. Ships at that time also had wireless systems that allowed them to communicate with other ships up to about 600 kilometers away, or about 373 miles. There were two wireless operators on the Titanic, Jack Phillips and his assistant, Harold Bride. Their job on the ship was to send passenger messages and to give the captain any weather reports from other ships. On the day of the wreck, there were five different iceberg warnings and only two of them made it to the captain. The last weather report was written, but not delivered to the captain. There were, that was the most important weather report. After that weather report, the California reached out to the Titanic to tell them they have stopped for the night because of icebergs. Phillips was the one um, on the job at that time and was busy sending passenger messages. The Californian overrides him with a powerful signal. A frustrated Phillips replies with, quote, Shut up, shut up, I am busy with, I am working a case race, end quote. According to the book, Titanic and Illustrated History by John Lynch and Ken Marshall, the Californian then turned off the radio for the night. The Titanic was, has lost contact with the closest ship to them and they were headed right for the iceberg. More than half the total number of people on the Titanic had lost their lives. 1,523 lives were lost out of 2,240 people on board. Only 328 bodies were recovered. There were only 20 lifeboats on the Titanic and four of those were collapsible. There was only enough space on the lifeboats for about a thousand people, which was less than half. However, when loading the lifeboats, most of the lifeboats were not full, at full capacity. Only 700 people made it on the lifeboats. Because of this, new rules were changed to where they must, there must be enough lifeboats to fit every single passenger. And the sinking of the RMS Titanic was a sad and tragic event that has forever changed our world. We have learned our mistakes and have improved our standards for ship safety and will continue to improve them as years go on. But never forget the night, but never forget the Titanic and the lives were lost on that cold, moonless night.